السلام علیکم و رحمت الله و برکات. Today we will make troubleshooting for any SMPS. In this stage we will discuss hot area. Any power supply it have two portions. Hot side and cold side. Where we connect input power that is called hot area. The low voltage area insulated area that is called cold area, cold side. And these both portions are divided into two pieces by this optocoupler and this transformer. We will discuss this portion. It have two portions. The one that is hot area, hot side. We will discuss this portion today. Our circuit will start from this power cable. Here I have two lines. After that we have one switch. Take multimeter. Set it to ohm. First of all check multimeter. Zero ohm. Connect one lead here, one lead here. This time it is not reading anything. That means maybe the switch is off. Turn on the switch. Now it is reading something. It is giving 800 kilo ohm. We connected multimeter here. Set it to continuity. Connect one line here. One line here. The continuity is available. Connect the second line. The continuity is available. So until here our switch is working. We tested the both lines. We connected multimeter here. Tested here. From here to here. We on, turn on the switch. It is working. How? I connected here to here, here to here. So our this portion is okay. After that, any power supply, it have a fuse. You can check fuse. Until now, we tested this line. After that, voltage arrestor. If we see its location, it is connected between two lines, this line and this line. In normal time, it is open. It has no work. But if there is over voltage, for safety, it will make a short circuit. When it will make short circuit, the current from here will move here. When it will make a short circuit, the fuse will burn out. One line is here. After fuse, here. It is in parallel. And you can check by your home. And you can check by continuity. It should open. It should open. If it is giving continuity, remove this one. Okay, if you find continuity, if you find continuity here, if this one is short, you will find continuity here in the input terminal. After that, there is a capacitor and there is resistor. If this capacitor is short, you will find the short circuit and the input and the fuse will burn out again and again. After that, there is two line filter. Sometime it is open. It not become short. It just becomes open. When it is open, you can find voltage here, but you cannot find voltage here. At these two points, and then check voltage here. If you find voltage here and don't find voltage here, then that means the problem is filter. Okay, then other method. This capacitor, this capacitor, most of the time this capacitor becomes short. Most of the time becomes this voltage arrestor becomes short. Some circuits have NTC. This series resistor, this temperature control resistor, 
sometime this resistor becomes open if this resistor becomes open replace this after this filter you will reach here okay this is bridge circuit sometime we have NTC here and sometime we don't have here if this portion is okay and you have short circuit the fuse blows again and again that time check this bridge rectifier or maybe this capacitor is short circuit internally if we see the top surface of this capacitor is raised up it have a swelling the top surface it have swelling so that means this capacitor have short circuit and if it have short circuit the fuse will burn out again and again this capacitor to be replaced if I have short circuit in VA I will get torn if I have short circuit here this capacitor is short I will get torn if this capacitor is short I will get torn if I have I have this this diode or any any two diodes I have short circuit I will take a tone the input resistance will go low if the input resistance is low then our fuse will burn out again and again after that we have IC MOSFET, FET, BJT anything have short circuit we will find the same problem our fuse will burn out again and again if you remember I told sometime we have NTC here I have NTC if this is open burn out that time the current will not pass from this point to this point how we can check this NTC set to ohm and connect two pins I am taking 11 ohm just heat it up before that 11 ohm now it is given 3.8 ohm NTC when temperature goes high its resistor decreases you can see this time it is going 7 ohm it's coming 8 ohm 8 ohm and I will heat up again ohm and now it's 2.6 ohm so this NTC is working in this circuit I have fuse this type okay here I have a fuse resistor set it to ohm connect to fuse it's 0.2 ohm fuse in this shape so this fuse is good if it is open replace by fuse I think this video is good if this video is good for you please make a like and if you have any question if you have any comment please let me know in the comment box I will wait for your comments thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh